Hey there, Hunkim here. It's time to talk about the latest developer update for this past month of August. Closed beta version 24 is still being worked on, however, there is some big exciting news. Yeah, you probably guessed it, I'm talking about early access or open beta, whatever you want to call it. But this isn't all. There will also be a new demo for you to take for a spin, but we'll talk more about these two things later on. For now, let's get into the developer's update post, talk about the new stuff and what was done in the past month. As you should already know, I'll leave the post links among other important ones in the description below this video. There is a remark regarding the delay for this update and probably also kind of an explanation as to why we still don't have the version 24 on our side. I would imagine that between committing to early access and having a new playable demo, there isn't much time left for anything else. Turns out I was wrong, there are a lot of improvements mentioned and new content. And talking about new content, let's start with the abduction missions. It's a new mission type that should be included in the upcoming version 24, but still is uncertain. For what we can gather here, in these missions, your objective is to rescue civilians that were captured by the aliens. For each pod you open an alien you kill, you get more money. So it sort of looks like we have a risk versus reward type of situation. Whereas, if you're playing more aggressively, you might get a bigger payout. On the bright side, I'm all in for different mission types. Grants the game more variety and it's also great because it pushes the bar higher when it comes to replayability value. I cannot get tired of repeating the same. But there's a big catch though. At least for me personally. These missions will, and I quote, have a certain number of turns to free as many civilians as possible. In other words, a timer. This might be an unpopular opinion, one which you don't agree with and that's fine. But for me, this is precisely the number one reason why I never managed to love XCOM Fire Axis games as much as I do for XCOM Classic ones. Having limits or pushing the player to do predefined things in a set period of time is something that I hate dealing with when it comes to this type of combat games. I am the commander. It should be my choice to either spend 1000 turns moving one tile at a time to accomplish whatever I need to or do the exact opposite if I feel like it. Now, despite having this opinion, or any other for that matter, we definitely need to try it out and see how it feels. Perhaps the implementation isn't as harsh as I'm imagining it to be? I really hope I'll be proven wrong. Then we have the grenades that will now use arcs. This means that we will be able to throw them over walls or cover properly. Once again, this isn't 100% done yet, but it's likely to be delivered with the upcoming patch. Achievements are something I do appreciate. Having some sort of additional completion goal is always a nice bonus to have in a video game. All the artwork is done and we'll get them in the upcoming version 24 on both Steam and GOG. Steam Cloud saves will also be enabled due to some optimization work that was done. These files should now be about 20% smaller in size. More good news regarding ground combat, more specifically when it comes to assaulting UFOs. The line of sight holes that made it possible to see the contact through UFO walls should not be a problem anymore. There were also some tiles that you couldn't move through and those should also be gone providing a much better bug fix experience. A lot of new terrain tiles were also added improving the maps. UI is kept being improved upon which is always nice to hear and specifically about screens only the research, engineering, aircraft and soldier equipment are left to convert to this new visual style. It looks like an updated Geoscape map is also in the works. The goal is to be more distinct from the one in Xenonauts 1, but I wouldn't expect to have it already on the upcoming version. Another balance pass was done to the campaign and now the spawn times of missions and UFO waves will be randomized. In the tech tree, a lot of effort has been allocated to writing the entries and the hardest part is now finished. 
It's pretty noticeable that a lot of work has been put into this upcoming closed beta version and I'm pretty eager to try it. Unfortunately, it's still an ongoing job and there's no date announced. However, it's expected to come out in the next couple of weeks, which means mid to end of September. I'm going to equip my tinfoil hat and say that having the demo ready for the Steam event is probably the highest priority due to calendar reasons. And also because early access is now being prepared, I wouldn't count on getting close by the version 24 this quickly. But hey, fingers crossed! Finally, the big and more anticipated news. First thing, early access. There are plans to launch the game into early access in February 2023. I'm sure that for all of those who have been waiting for a very long time, it's a relief to finally see some light at the end of the tunnel. This isn't set in stone in the post, but I'm sure efforts will be made to meet this deadline. Second thing, a new Steam demo. There will be a Steam event later this month in which a new demo will be available to play. We didn't get from the developers which event that will be, but I do know of an event named Tacticon that will take place between the 22nd and the 25th of September. Since we're dealing with strategy genre here, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the event they were referring to in the post. And because you're watching this, there's a high chance you're also into strategy video games like I am. Therefore, I'll link the Tacticon event information also in the video description for you to check out later. You might also be thinking, this is just another demo, no big deal about it. I'm thinking that it's probably very important for the game itself, not only to publicly show that it's still alive and kicking, but also to get the word out now that early access is on the horizon. So, hashtag Xenonauts2, why not? Follow me on Twitter and let's get this ball rolling. I'll wait until the closed beta version 24 is released to get back into Xenonauts 2 and hopefully do a full campaign run. Meanwhile, I'll continue to cover the development update posts. The next one later this month will be about early access and further information on the subject. As always, if you appreciate this video, make sure to like it and consider subscribing to the channel. Our next goal is to reach 500 subs so we can have a community tab and interact with one another. We're still far away from that, but I'm confident that we'll get there. We're also currently doing an XCOM Terror from the Deep run, so if you want to check it out, you can do so by clicking here. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye bye!